Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I want to show you how easy it is to cook air fryer pheasants. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. You're probably wondering why air fry pheasants. I mean, you don't exactly see it everywhere. Well, I was in my local butchers. I absolutely love this butchers and they have so many great things in them. I have to actually travel to go to these butchers to be able to grab the meat. And I was just looking in their display window as I was picking up a bulk order for some air fry recipes and they had pheasants and partridges in the window. I thought, right, I've got to try pheasants in the air fryer. And if you go for the right size, then you'll be able to fit two at once in an average air fryer. So it's a bit like doing Cornish hens in there for size. And, you know, you can do just one and then have your sides in there as well. So we just thought it'd be something interesting and something different to do in the air fryer. There's one of them. And then, here's the other one. I've literally um, just had them stored in the freezer. I've had them in a carrier bag so I know which ones they are because I've got a lot of different meat going on in there. And then I've sorted them out over the last day or so so that I can show you how to cook them in the air fryer. And for ingredients that we're going to be using for our air fryer pheasant, it's actually very simple and basic. And to be honest, it's no more difficult to do pheasant in the air fryer compared to doing Cornish hens or an air fryer chicken, or even a duck, if you like duck. So what we're using is, we're using uh, garlic and onion powder, parsley, thyme, bouquet garni, you can of course use mixed herbs or Italian seasoning instead, some salt and pepper, and then we'll be using some extra virgin olive oil spray to get uh, the skin lovely and crispy and to glue the seasonings on. So that's your ingredients, and that's just how simple it is for ingredients. There's not a lot to it. So if you've not cooked a pheasant before, then this is a fantastic starting point. And of course, the pheasants are really small, so they won't take up much room in the air fryer. So this means they'll be much quicker to cook. So first of all, I recommend you grab a knife and we lose the packaging. And there's number two. And from my own notes that I took, um, I found the average size of them that I purchased was about 700 grams. Uh, though some of them were as low as 590 grams. And then as you can see, they're a good size and they're actually perfect for the air fry. So I recommend you start with a spray of extra virgin olive oil. And then once you've done this, make sure the oil is rubbed in to the skin because this will help the seasoning stick to them. And then it's time to mix your seasonings. I find that it's so much easier to do this if you actually use a mixing bowl because then you can mix all the seasonings together and then it'll give it a better coating on the meat. So start with your salt and pepper. And then add some bouquet garni. Some thyme, or as they call it in Spanish, tomillo. 
next is parsley and then finish it off with some dried onion and some dried garlic note that this mixture of dried onion and garlic if you look on screen and now you will actually see videos for this and what it actually is is it's dehydrated onion and garlic that were originally um, made in the air fryer because i use the air fryer element of the ninja foodie to be able to make these and it's just wonderful so if you've got an air fryer that will go as low as um, I think it's 55 Celsius, which is about 130 Fahrenheit, then note that you can uh, dehydrate in an air fryer. You just want to grab a few of those bits in there. And then that's your seasoning uh, together in the bowl. Give it a good mix. And then it's ready now to be loaded onto the skin. So if you move it back again, and then just give it a good coating. And then don't be shy, give it a good rubbing. There we go. So we've now got um, the pheasants all ready to be cooked in the air fryer. They look absolutely fantastic as well. I'm just gonna give my hands a quick wash. Now, the next step is to start cooking them in the air fryer. But I do need to mention about the cook times here because note, that uh, pheasants, partridges, and other similar birds go dry very, very easy. You know, think of turkey, of how easy it is to dry out a turkey. The same applies here. So you need to go with a much lower cook, ta uh, cook time and temperature than what you would normally do if you're cooking a whole chicken. For example, in our air fry whole chicken recipe, we recommend 180 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit, for the universal temperature but with um, pheasants and partridges i recommend that you actually go down to 160 celsius that's 320 fahrenheit as a general guide for cooking because otherwise trust me you'll dry it out so then place them in the air fryer you should be able to fit two in your air fryer basket depending on what brand you've got and then place them in and it's ready to set the time and temp. For your air fryer pheasants, you're looking at um, 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit. And we're going with a cook time of 25 minutes. And then we can check the internal temperature and see if they need a bit longer. The last lot we did needed about another five minutes. So 25 minutes isn't too far off and we recommend that you actually cook them breast side up. So then press that. So I've uh, allowed the pheasant to rest a bit before I'm gonna slice in and just show you what it looks like. Because like I said, it's very similar to turkey if you haven't had it before. So they're on the plate, they're ready. You can just leave them like that and take them to the dinner table or you can slice them before you go. Let me just show you here what the meat's actually like. So that you can take a look as you can see it's got a lovely lovely color to it and you know i kind of think of it as it can get dry like a turkey but to me it tastes very similar to duck and if you think of the pinkness you have on duck when you cook that so let's try it literally and it's absolutely delicious and it makes such a difference when you add the seasonings to the skin as well and if you are concerned about cu cutting, cooking something that's so small like this compared to doing chicken, then rest assured it's perfect. D just as much as the chicken is, you just need a lower temperature and less of a cook time. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. 
It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.